With our tight grip around the hub, we enlarged the city with every day. We built a gate on the backside of the hub and a bar that also operates as our kitchen. The bar made it easier to collect rumors and to look out for potential recruits. And talking about recruits, Merritt was able to convince one of the guests to join us. His name is Red. Red grew up in the United Cities as an Empire peasant, but he always wanted to see the world. That's why he joined the caravan and traveled it. But one day the caravan was ambushed by the Black Dragon Ninjas. He survived and fled to the hub. Since then he's been staying in the hub, looking for adventures. Merritt talked to him and told him that the Black Dragon Ninjas will pay for what they have done. And if he joins us, he will be treated with respect. Red agreed to these terms and joined us. In the meantime, the Mountain and Talika started to craft excellent weapons that we sold for quite a bit of money. And Shark's Tooth, together with Brynn, were creating masterful armor pieces that also made us a lot of money. With our infrastructure building up, money will soon not be a problem anymore. The others were training in the meantime and perfecting their skills. While I was overlooking the training, Kobold came up to me and told me about the Adventure Guild. And that they have an outpost not far from the hub. So it might be a good idea to see if someone wants to join us. I moved over to this outpost. And when I entered it, I started looking for potential recruits. And this is when I saw a tall shack sitting on a table. I sat right next to him and explained to him who I am and that I was looking for recruits. The shack was quiet and busted me. And then he told me his tragic story. Saint Ivan spent a long time as a drifter traveling the world. That was until he found a small community of outcasts that he joined. While helping this community, he figured out that he is tougher than he looks, so he started to guard this place. He also started a small farm to keep himself occupied when nothing else was to do. But one day, the Shek came over the land and destroyed their community. Saint Ivan was able to flee, but he wasn't able to find his friends. He somehow ended up at the Adventure Guild. And now he wants to build up a community again, so he might find his friends. I listened to his story carefully, and then I offered him a place at our side. I told him that if he helps me to defeat the Shack Kingdom, they'd be going to build a better place for everyone. Saint Ivan was quietly listening to what I have to say. He then smiled and agreed on joining me. I brought Saint Ivan back to the others and showed him around. And while I was preparing myself to move to the Deadlands, a Shek came up to me. She told me that she's been looking for me and that she wants to join my clan. I told her that we should talk about this over a drink. So we sat down at the bar and had a few ones. The name of this warrior was Bowen. She comes from the Grass Chosen and has set out to perfect her skills. Untypical for a Shek. But she was really good at hiding and fevery. She knows what I'm up to, and she knows that once we sack a big city, there's a lot of stuff that she can steal. And she doesn't want to miss out on this opportunity. I have to give her that. She is at least honest about it. And it's never a bad thing to have someone with quick hands by our side. So I welcomed Bowen to our team. I told her to go train with the others, and then I took out a lot of cats. I packed my things and started to move to the scrap house. I heard rumors about it, that the skeletons sell ancient technology that will help our cause. Hello my fellow Kenji players and welcome back to Shake on the Broken episode number 6. Let me introduce the next few community members that are joining Shake on this conquest. The first one over here is Red aka Chera from what you saw in the intro. 
Red was living in the United City as a peasant and he joined a caravan to see the world. Sadly, his caravan got ambushed and this is how he ended up here. He will now make a name for himself, adventure out even more and join Shai Khan in his conquest. The next one is Bowen, aka Carfreak Bowen. Bowen, a cross chosen that is into thievery. Untypical for a shack, but she wants to perfect her art. That's why she joined Shai Khan, so that she can zack the big cities once we are raiding them. Carfreak Bowen has been on my channel for quite some time, so thank you for joining in here, Bowen. And the next one is Saint Ivan, aka Honest Introspection. Saint Ivan was with a small community where he was guarding the gates and working on a small farm. Sadly, the shack came over them and destroyed their community. Now he wants to rebuild this community, but first we have to get rid of the Shack Kingdom. All this introspection is pretty new to my channel, but as always, I welcome all newcomers. Welcome to the team and I hope you enjoy your stay. Anyways guys, in today's episode, let me first give these guys their jobs back. By the way, quick stat check. These are red stats. These are Bowen stats. And these are Saint Ivan stats. In case you're wondering, I've already started to train them because, well, we do need <laughs> some strong people. <laughs> so let me give them their chops back and then let's go over to Shaikan because Shaikan is currently moving towards the scrap house. We want to buy many, many things. And as you can see, yeah, we have 318,000 cats, which is quite a lot. So yeah, I still think I will do it like that. I will craft all of our items ourselves. Except for me too, obviously, but but all the other weapons and armors I will craft myself. And we are on the best way of doing so, because our crafters and our weaponsmiths are doing pretty good. I think Shaikan just got a... Oh yeah, he got attacked by... Oh no. No, 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 no. No, stupid iron spiders. Stop attacking me. Why do we always have to get stuck? Uh, so limp-wise, uh, later on we do also need some limbs. But right now... Uh, we don't really need, but I'm gonna check out the store after this anyway, because I want to see what kind of limbs we can get our boys. And the uh, Shaikan is weak against the acid rain, but it's not that bad, and I think we have some protection from this. Yeah, 60%, so we don't take that much damage. Well, hello there, Mr. Scrap House Seller. Yeah, many weapons in here, many strong weapons, as you can see. But like I said, before we buy anything here, weapon-wise, I want to craft it myself. Ooh, yeah, I have installed that mod that gives us these special limbs. As you can see, the value of these limbs are insane. Like, it's extremely high. Uh, we have a masterwork here. Yeah, you see, <laughs> athletics is 79. <laughs> This is so broken. Uh, but well, you can see half a million cats for one of those legs. So it's not so easy to get them, in case you're wondering. But there are also arms here. Uh, and there we go. Wait, is there a masterwork one here I can show you? Okay, I only specialist one, but look at this. Look at this. These limbs are crazy. Oh, and I just saw something. I only have four ancient science books here. Well, that's not, that's not that good, but... Whatever. I also gotta take the A course, the entry research, and we can get the ancient science books somewhere else. But yeah, I wanted to show off these limbs. Now, I buy the books, I buy the A course, the engineer research, and then I also wanna buy some blueprints for weapon crafting and hopefully also for armor crafting. Dust code, Naginatas. That's the one I was uh, trying to get, the Marauder one. That's the bear sort I wanna get. Okay, we did spend quite a bit of money here. Great. Now we have even more. I'm sorry, guys. I'm turning into Elmo. Well, now that I think about it, with these exotic limbs that are so strong, and with my training dummies, uh, I think this uh, series will become not so hard. <laughs> I mean, of course, I have to train myself up, and then I have to afford all of those limbs, because they are worth quite a bit of money. And these are the first limbs I wanted to go for, the composite limbs. That's their name. We also have some Gatalax here. Let me see one of those composite arms. Yeah, okay, they are... They are good over... Good around us, I guess. But what's even stronger would be... Ah, okay. Never mind. I have not installed the other mod. I only have these. So these are the best ones that we can get. I mean, except for the extremely rare ones in the scrap house. But 
the extremely rare ones in the scrap house also they they don't restock that often so it's not so easy to get them i think they only restock like every 30 days or something so yeah we'll probably have only a few people that are able to get these extremely good limbs so in case you are worried all right uh i guess we can make it back now to base i have half the ancient technology that i wanted and i'm i don't want to say i'm broke but i spent quite a bit of money so let's go back to the hub also let me go over there first over here uh, and I also want to check out the other dudes. Oh, by the way, I want to move these guys into the squad here. There we go. No, you guys go over there. You're going to train your defense now. Remove the attack, get to the defense. There we go. Now they're training their defense up. Ragnir is still training his dexterity. It's at 83 now. These boys are training their strength. Things are going pretty nice. I would say. Did we get attacked? Okay, I've got to keep an eye out on these guys. Because if they do anything stupid, I have to atone for this. Enemy shack. Oh, wait. Uh, don't fight them. It's useless. It's going to be experimental. We'll see if the 100 stat training dummies aren't too overpowered. We're going to find out in this series. Because if I fail that even with the legendary of Kanchibot, this is too easy. Then we're not going to use the 100 stats one in the future. Let me stick to the 70 stats ones. But like I mentioned, Asata has stats, what, 130, 140. So always keep that in mind, guys. Always keep that in mind. Mm, how are we looking crafting-wise? Do we have some leather left? Okay, we have some leather left, so they still have enough leather for crafting. How are we looking iron plates-wise? Uh, we also have some iron plates left. I'm going to upgrade to steel very soon. Because of that, I already prepared some steel storage. Over here, like two over here, and look at this. So much steel. I fairly prepared myself. Why have I put some fabrics in there? I really don't know. But what I can do is I can get over here and take out the fabrics. I think the other storages were full. That's why I took the fabrics from there. But I mean, she can use the fabrics anyway. It's not a big problem. Oh, yes. My boys are about to come back. Why does it say, by the way, that you can craft luxury weapons? Isn't that, uh, wasn't that a mod that allows you to craft luxury weapons? I don't think you have the mod installed, but I probably should. I will see how fast or how far I can craft with these mods. How strong my weapons will be in the end. Gotta find this out. Alright, right, Bappe Shaikon is back. And Bappe Shaikon is gonna throw all of the stuff in there. So, uh, attack level 6. First, before we do that, let me... Go advanced weapon grades first, advanced weapon smithing, then advanced weapon grades four, and advanced weapon grades five. Chain armor crafting. Yeah, we also need that later on. I need more ancient science books. I need more of those. Buy the steel bars. We only gotta buy steel bars now. Also gotta buy some food here because I think we're about to starve anyway. And the fabrics. Guess I have to pick up Packy again because a Packy always gets stuck, and we don't want that. How much food do we have left in here? We have quite a bit of food left, but I'm gonna throw more in there, because why not? So let me pick up Packy here again, and let me move down to the Hive Village. And I've not um, not forgotten the mod that lets you uh, buy the hub. Still have this back in my mind. I hope that the buildings are still staying there after buy the hub. If this is not going to happen, then I think I'm going to move my base outside. I mean, the hub is looking pretty niche right now, but I can always do something different. Ancient science book, yes please, fabrics, yes, and steel bars. They don't have chainmail here, right? I just realized that, that they don't have chainmail here. So I have to craft chainmail myself, I guess. I mean, with the with the skills that I have, it shouldn't be too big of a problem, I guess. Another engineer research, and fabrics, and the steel bars. 25 steel bars, that's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. You're gonna wait one more tick here. In the meantime, uh, let me see. Myrat has researched, ooh, nice. So, what we're going to do now is the following. Gonna upgrade this one. So, Talika's Weaponsmith is on 83, by the way. Oh, you know what? Let me quickly go through the stats, so you guys can check out your boys. So, this is our merit stats. The Mountain. Shark's Tooth. Brin. Sigmar. Ragnir. Ruka, Churros, Cobalts, Maldwins, Handies, 
Crush Bains, Talikas, Sweet Little Pot Pot here, which didn't get too much of training. And the other ones I already showed off, so that's there's that. I hope I have enough iron plates to finish this. Uh, could be that I don't have enough iron plates. I finished one. Okay, this one is empty here. And I'm gonna remove one of those storages, by the way. Or sh I could remove both, I guess. I don't need iron plates anymore. Okay, first let me go over here. Let me place down the steel container. And Talika, you go down there and you're gonna buy some iron plates. Good, we finished both of those. This is very nice. Now, they do need quite a bit of power. 30 power for one of those things. Okay, together with these and the training dummies, I guess. We do need quite a bit of power. Uh, can I not up... Oh, okay. We're only getting power from the wind source. That's why. That's no problem. I can just go... Uh, there we go. And you're back in business. Okay, now let's go to our weapon grades. And... Ah, uh, yes. You can make four now. Gonna do the same again. And I wanna craft one of those bear swords too. How much money is that? Bear sword is pretty weak, isn't it? Oh, anyways, I'm still gonna craft one of those. Thought it does a little bit more damage, but I guess not. So let's check back to Shaikan. Is it just me or do they not restock when you're sticking around their, their place? So I went in and out and they've restocked again. Good. Well, I have so many steel bars <laughs> back at the base. So I'm not sure how much I really do need now. Okay, I can't get one more T up in weapon grades right now. That means that I need to tech up to the next level. And then we'll see what we need for the next homemade weapons. Wait, what? Working in the darkness? It just said he was working in the darkness. That's uh. That's a bit weird, because they're clearly not working in the darkness. There are some torch posts everywhere. I don't want that to happen. Some more fabrics, more steel bars. Okay, Shaikan made it back. Guess I have to throw more of those steel bars in there, because we're pretty much full. So I want to start making gear very soon, because Brin and Shaxtooth are both at a very high level. But I do need the blueprints for that, so... The easiest way of doing this would be to go to this place over here. Uh, Black Scratch has the library. Uh, or I'll try to go to Brink. I think there's an armor shop here and I'll try to learn something. I think I'll go to Brink first and see what I can do. And here we have... Oh no wait, that's the wrong one. Uh, weapon grade... 4, there we go. 7,300 cats, quite a bit of damage. Uh, Money-wise, I have to say, there isn't there isn't much of a difference between those two. Like, and since we iron plates, steel bars, it's, it's six times the price. So yeah, I'm not even sure if money-wise it wouldn't be better to just craft with iron plates. Not that I think about it. We still gotta make money from this, don't get me wrong. But I just just thought about this. I guess it's if we go even higher in weapon grades than if we go like weapon grade 2 or 1. Then it really pays off. I just sold this batch of weapons and armor and we are back at nearly 120,000 cats. Which is awesome. And yeah, what I'm going to do now is we're going to move over to the city of Brink. The city of Brink is over here. But I don't think there's any city that is closer. Flats Lagoon is also pretty far away. I guess it doesn't really matter where I go to. Everything is a bit stupid. Or I could try to go to the swamps. I think the swampers also do have a shop. You know what? I haven't been to the swamps for ages. Or at least not in this, <laughs> this playthrough. I've not been there at all. But yeah, let's go to the swamps. Why not? Wait, that sword is so small? I thought that's bigger. Okay, it looks bigger than... Okay. It looks bigger than it is. So that's pretty nice. But it... It's, you can wield two of those then. I guess that looks cool, wielding two of those beer swords in, behind your back. Because Beaky wanted one of those, so... Yeah, okay, it's fine. No worries. I just wish the sword overall would be stronger, like the stats of the sword. Already getting... What? Aimless. No, he's just... He's just staying around. Goddamn swamps. That's what I meant. He's just... The Shiger is just standing there while he's getting beaten down. What is he doing? He's, he's not even defending himself. He's just literally standing there. Uh, yeah, and the game is lagging now. I mean, not lagging, but it's loading forever. That's why I hate going to the swamps. 
Uh, can we make it? We're still pretty fast. How fast are they? Okay, I can see it right now. Can we make it to Rod without getting knocked out? This would be really cool. Yeah, we are faster now. Whatever you do, do not... Wait, what are you... No, what are you doing? Oh god, no. Why doesn't it say how fast they are? Athletic run speed. 21. Okay. Why do you hate me so much, Kenji? What did I ever do to you? I really want to build a base in the swamp for once. Just seeing the loading times all the time is like giving me... It's giving me anxiety. I don't care about blood spiders and whatsoever, but it's giving me anxiety to just watch the loading time. So we found the first swampers. Swampers. Also go heal yourself. I can, my boy. So what do they have for sale here? Uh, let's see. They do not have steel bars because I would have bought them too. They do have some armor crafting recipes, but... I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, many helmets. They have a lot of helmets here. Not really what I was looking for. I'm still gonna get some of those hams here. I, I don't... Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna get a little bit of ham and a little bit of rice beet so I can research it. But I'm pretty sure that buying from the hive is easier than crafting it ourselves. I'm still gonna make it in the main capital of Shark. Did the red sabers follow me? Oh, they followed me. Haha. -ha. That's what you get for trying to beat me up. Look at these swamp turtles. They look so funny. Like an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Elephant mushroom. Uh oh. I see blood spiders. Good thing I'm next to a, a city. Has any one of you madmans attempted to build a base in the swamps? Like, there is one thing here. I don't blame Chris for um, not optimizing the game fully. But one thing I wish he had done before he moved on to Kanji 2 is that he dropped an update for the swamps. So it's easier to move in there. That's the only thing I wanted them to do. I don't wish for much, but this one... Yeah, I wish he had done that. A swamp dome. I could buy that. Become a full-blown swamper. Oh, well, there's a bar here, but... uh, No, I don't want to play. Okay, can I not? Oh, it's a casino. Oh, Dr. Chung is here. It's a unique recruit. But in this one, we can't get him. Uh, look at this. Look at this guy. Oh my. Well, it looks a little scary. Swamp Village. Yes, there we go. So, let's see if we can buy a few more blueprints. But I'm pretty sure it's not looking all too good here. Oh, Ninja Rex. Okay, I'll take that. Armored Rex. Black and Chainmail. Did I already... Can I not make that already? Oh, whatever. Gonna buy it. Cargo Pants. Bad. Well, I don't really need that. Assassin's Rex, yes. For heavy armor, I need to go somewhere else, though. I mean, these things are nice to get, but not exactly what I needed. But I do run out of money now, anyway. But there's not really much I can do about it. I can also check these shops, but I think they only sell... Uh, yeah, they only sell these goods. Not much I can do about this. There's another small shop in here. It's... Uh, also this shop. I'll take the fabrics, why not? I'm already here, right? Already here. The base of the hounds, I think. No, no, the back shifters. That, these are the hounds, okay. And there is a weapon shop in here too. But since I'm running out of money, I'm not sure how much I will be able to buy here. My problems with chest plates is... But you know what? I'm gonna get this one. Why not? Alright, and just like that, I'm out of money. No more money for me. I'm trying to make it back now, but first I want to go to the bar and have a quick nap. And also before I leave, I want to check out Big Grim. I want to see her stats. We're st what, we're still researching tech level? Oh my. Okay, we are about to to reach the next level. I could, the next thing I could do is I can make two blade beating stations and craft a lot of armor plating. Also, armor plates do sell for quite a bit. And we do need raw iron for that though. But since we have an entrance here, although I need to, I mean, I guess I can still send them out and farm that way. But it's quite far away though, because most of our guys have their training up pretty high. Okay, Shaken is nearly healed. Yeah, 107, I'm, I'm fine with that. I have a feeling that the Legendary of Kanji mod is not on, somehow. Somehow I have this feeling that this mod is not on. I mean, it's... Uh, it, 
it's no problem right now, okay? It's not a it's it's not a big deal right now because we're not fighting anyone. But from what I see here, because usually the hounds should get buffed. And their stats are like weak. Okay, so out of curiosity I just checked, and it seems like the legendary of Kenshin mod is on. And I'm wondering why their stats are so low. If you compare it to the United Cities or the Shack Kingdom, they are weak. Like really, really weak. Okay, but well, I mean Whatever, I guess. I'm not sure if there's another mod that cancels this out. I have to take a look at this. But yeah, they should be stronger. Maybe the Swampers didn't get re reworked. It's a possibility. Anyway, I'm going to try to make it back now. I did not get many... Can I sell Hashish for a higher price? Oh, huh. I never actually thought about this. Okay, I can't buy it here. I need to wait now. I need to wait a little bit until the other shops are open again. I'll buy some hashish with the money I've left and then we'll see if I'll be able to make some profit out of this. I mean, since I'm already here and since I have some money left, why not? Oh, that was the wrong shop. More hashish in here. Good. Now I'm gonna make it back. Hell yeah, this time I made it without getting attacked. Isn't that beautiful? I am beautiful, no matter what you say. Bird can't bring me down, hey, hey, and I'm getting attacked by bandits without style. <laughs> you have no style here. Yay, we made it back. I just realized I could have gone to the way station and sold the hashish over there, but I'm not sure how much money I would have made, so yeah, there is that. So, okay. We get no markup price here. I suspected this, but we have an ancient science book here, which you can't buy because we don't have money. Sad times. Why? Ooh, steel bars are gone already. Worst case scenario, I have to make more steel bar container. I might need a e course to tech up to the next level now, weaponsmith wise. It would not be a surprise to me. Uh, yes. That's what I thought. Three AE cores. Five. I need five AE cores to tag up. And then I also need... Yeah. I need... <laughs> for edge type weapon... Okay, yeah. I need quite a bit of... Wait, what? Oh, uh, okay. Luxury weapon swiffing is in there too. I wonder how high I can get with these things. But it seems like we can make ourselves pretty good weapons overall. So that's pretty niche. It's pretty neat, but we need a lot of acorns. So I guess it's time we're gonna do some some ruin hunting very soon. I mean, we can we can clear out the deadlands first. What are you doing, Maldwin? Why are you just standing there? Shouldn't you be over here? I don't need to overdo it with the stats. I can swap this around a bit more. If everyone has like stats in their 80s, I'm already good to go. Yeah, melee defense is, yeah. Once they're at around 80, I'm gonna swap them over again. So handy, your strength is 82, so you can go to do some melee defense or melee attack training. Cobalt's dexterity, okay. Dexterity-wise, we need to train a bit more, but Ragnar, 87 dexterity, yes. That's, that's, that's enough. Let's go over to strength. Crush pain, you go to dexterity. Red, 84 toughness. You know what, Red? Go do some strength training now. So yeah, a uh, ecor hunting. That's that's the next thing that we need to do. So I will prepare the boys with what they need. I'll try to get better armor then. We can craft different types of armor, but we need some other stations too. Because this one... I mean, we can make a few dust coats, I guess. I mean, why not? Let's make some dust coats. I'm just curious. Uh, dust coat goes for 745 cats. And trader's letter goes for uh, the same. Okay. They're valued at the same. So that's nice. So let's make some dust coats. Alright, guys. I've been recording for quite a bit again. So that means that's the end of this episode. Like I said, in the next episode, I'll try to gear everyone off screen. I'll try to get everyone some better gear. 
and everything, so that we can do some uh, e-core hunting in the next one. Uh, Stat-wise, we're looking pretty good, and I don't think I need to fear anyone. So yeah, next episode, uh, ancient technology hunting. And yeah, like I said, I'm trying to make us some weapons. Try to get everyone the weapons that they want to have, and also some gear. I probably won't be able to gear everyone fully out, but with a few good guide gears, we should be able to do this. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.